Greetings once again Sonic Heroes, or should I say racing fan, as Sonic and the gang have entered into the Clean Sweep Stakes Race, a joint venture by the Restoration and Clean Sweep Inc. to raise money and the like for a good cause. Although let's face it, Jewel isn't really one for pageantry, grand celebrations, all that, so she mostly does her desk work, while Clutch oversees everything. Sonic enters with Tails and Amy, Surge naturally enters with Kit, the Babylon Rogues are there because of course, while the Diamond Cutters act as referee, or just safety patrol more or less. And as the race gets underway, everything seems fine and dandy, that is until Amy's board starts running a muck, and while Sonic and Tails try to save her, their experimental boards do so as well. When their boards are finally put out of commission, Lanolin tells them they're out of the race for endangering the people, and while Sonic and the others comply, things are very odd, with them not noticing Surge was a special device that had sent their boards careening, a setup by Clutch and Mimic. What cues Tails into what's gone down, and especially Amy, is the fact that her board was not an experimental one. Sonic and Tails were, so it makes no sense why her board would be the first to cause problems. Realizing that the only time the boards were out of their sight was being checked by Clean Sweep Inc., they want to investigate aboard the Clean Sweep Inc.'s refurbished aerial vehicle, but they don't want to be spotted too quickly as whoever's behind this might clue in to what they're up to. Enter Dr. Eggman, who's none too happy with Clutch taking his old wear, and he's got a bit of a bone to pick with Sonic having obviously been sabotaged, making Sonic's life miserable is his job. So he's come up with a new experimental type of extreme gear that he'll lend out to Sonic to race incognito while the others investigate. It's a deal with the devil, but it might just be what's necessary to stop a greater evil, or a lesser one, depending on your point of view. Will Sonic and the others discover the nasty machinations of Clutch and his crew? Or will dealing with Eggman come back to bite them? Join me as I find out won't you? Alright, hopping in with an awesome cover, very Sonic Riders inspired. It's funny how often the Sonic Rider style gets used, yet we still have yet to have a new Sonic Riders game. Tragedy. And I will admit, I get the Diamond Cutters needing to be roughs and all that, but I I do kind of wish they were actually competing. Right, we have the story by Evan Stanley, pencils by Aaron Hammerstrom, inks by Matt Frost, or Frosse, colors by the man Reggie Graham, color asset Jonathan Dobbs and Rick Mack, letter Sean Lee, associate editor Bixie Masayu. Huh. Editors David Marriott and Thea Chook. Production Johanna Natali. Roll Call Sonic the Hedgehog, The Blue Blur, Fastest Thing Alive. Miles Tails Prower, Tech Savvy Sidekick, High Flying Genius. Amy Rose, Hammer Swinging Heroine, Restoration Ally. The Restoration, Successor to the Resistance, Rebuilding Society. Duo the Cat, aka Mimic. Expert Infiltrator, X Diamond Cutter, the irony of that last statement, the Babylon Rogues, Legendary Thieves, Mercenaries for Hire, I wonder how they'll feel about the whole situation with Clutch, he kinda used them as a distraction, and I'm wondering how well that'll sit with the Legendary Windmaster, Serge the Tenric, the Mean Green Roguish Speedster, Dr. Eggman, Mad Genius, Egg Enthusiast, and Clutch the Possum, Speedy Businessman, and Egg Tech Hoarder. We pick up at the starting line for the next leg of the race, with Knight the Owl announcing, Good morning, Central City! Are you ready for the next round of the clean sweepstakes? And the crowd cheers. On a nearby building, eh, Sonic stands with his new egg hoverboard thingy, along with a gauntlet he's been provided. Ooh, is he gonna have a transformation sequence? Knight announces, with the qualifying round complete, the wheat has been separated from the chafe, and the gloves are off. Sonic looks at his little gauntlet saying, it better work, Eggman. Knight announces, the objective of this event is simple. Riders, your goal today is to survive. An obstacle course, huh? High above the sky, too. This course is equipped with only the most cutting-edge technology 
Pun entirely intended. Is this safe? Thanks to Clean Sweep Inc.'s recycling effort. Ooh, I love this double page spread. The crowd is excited. The other racers obviously nervous at seeing this. Surge and Kit, kinda hard to tell if they're impressed or not. The Babylon Rogues smile for a challenge, while the Diamond Cutters <laughs> Are various stages of what the heck as the racers get ready night announces racers riders start your gear and sonic does just that as the countdown comes three two one oh it is a transformation sequence the racers get their running start sonic activates the gauntlet which begins a literal magical girl transformation. And as everyone takes off with a go, the Babylon rogues make their way out in front with Night announcing, veteran rider, Jet the Hawk takes the lead. If you've ever wondered why they call him the Windmaster, look no further, folks. And as they break their way through the other riders, Storm says, out of the way, chumps, Babylon rogues coming through. Jet laughs, ha. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be a challenge. Ooh, but an unknown figure goes racing overhead, and the masked Sonic says, You want a challenge, huh? Knight says, What's this? Some sort of rogue rider on the court. <laughs> the rogue rider gra grabs Oma Chow and says, Let me go, you big meanie, who's filming all of this. And the rogue rider says, All right, listen up. The only rogue here is that Greenhorn Jet and his cheer squad. You're looking at the Phantom Rider. I'm about to turn this whole place upside down. None of you are fast enough to stop me. Ooh, I like Sonic playing this angle. <laughs> Clutch seems unimpressed though. And as Jet catches up with the Phantom Rider, he says, You've clearly never met me. The Phantom Rider says, Oh no, I didn't ruffle your feathers, did I? As he tosses Omacha to the side, with Storm and Wave bringing up the rear, a Storm yells, Wait for us, boss! As Sonic leaves the Babylon rogues in the dust, as they get caught up in the obstacles, Sonic thinks, Dang, the Doc wasn't messing around, this gear is on a whole nother level. Wave advises, Jet, ignore this wacko, he's not even part of the event. Ooh, but Sonic, <laughs> with a Sonic boom, I love the little monkey on the friggin' Nimbus Cloud. He blasts his past, knocking over several riders in the process. Sonic thinking, that had more kick than I thought. If I, I help, I'll blow my cover, but... Oh, but the rider who was knocked over is snagged by a familiar tail, saying, Gotcha! Tango gives a thumbs up to the rider she helped save, and she and the rest of the diamond cutters come into the fray. Night announcing, The Phantom Rider is ruthless. It's a good thing our restoration refs were there. Lanolin announces, Duo, call in more security. The Phantom Rider is going down. Duo gives a nod and gets out his walkie. Meanwhile, out comes the security force in their own extreme gear from the main ship and just as the bay door closes amy and tails fly in just in the nick of time just barely however they end up crashing into some boxes alerting some of the staff as the security looks around saying i just heard something did you hear something the other guard says uh yeah the door closing why are you so jumpy man as amy and tails hide they sigh in relief the guard saying i'm not jumpy i'm vigilant Look, the boss has this place locked up tighter than Prison Island. Nothing's getting in. The other guard says, I hear pri heard Prison Island exploded. <laughs> right. Tails whispers over to Amy. Looks like the coast's clear. I think we should check the machine shop. If there's evidence of someone messing with our extreme gear on this ship, it'll be there. Amy grabs Tails, saying, Perfect. I spent a lot of time here during the metal virus. The shot's not too far from there. Meanwhile, at the race, Knight adjusts his glasses saying, Folks, this is unbelievable. The race course has practically turned into a battleground with how these two are duking it out. Then you see the Phantom Rider making rude gestures towards Jet, who just gets increasingly pissed with every turn they make. And as Jet catches up, he says, Nowhere left to run, Phantom. Phantom Rider says, Sweet. I've been waiting for a chance to try this. Ever seen this trick before? It's a classic. And the Phantom Rider hits a button on his gauntlet, causing a smoke screen to come out, blinding Jet. Jet lowers his goggles, and as the Phantom Rider takes off, Jet just 
groans angrily as the Phantom Rider races out of the tube they were in. He says, I think I've tormented them long enough. It looks like he's just about ready to pop a vein. Better make my exit while only for the diamond cutters and the clean sweep ink security force to come racing in with Lanolin shouting, you stop and land immediately. Knight announces, Lean Sweet's finest have finally caught up with the troublemaker. It looks like the Phantom Rider's reign of terror has come to an end. Ooh, dang. Lanolin uses her veritable, well, I was about to say veritable wishbone, but her wishbone bell to sound out a sound shockwave that lo knocks the Phantom Rider into the tube with him just barely managing to defend himself. Lanolin announces dismount your gear and, but as the security force lands all around him on the tube, it begins to crack with the Phantom Rider saying, wait, don't. The tube crumbles, sending everyone plummeting, with Lanolin giving a silent no. This causes the a chain reaction that destroys the tube at several pivotal points, causing several racers to plummet, glass sh shattering and going everywhere. Whisper destroys some of the larger chunks to defend people, while Tangle uses her ever increasingly long tail to save people, shouting no! Though the Phantom Rider does save one racer, putting them back on their board, with the racer saying, uh, oh, thank you? Phantom Rider saying, don't mention it, please. As the Phantom Rider takes off from the chaos, he thinks, made it, now to lie low and... <laughs> Only to be run over by Surge on her bike. As the Phantom Rider clings to the front of Surge's bike, he says, hi. With Kit falling behind, yelling out for Surge, Surge tells the Phantom Rider, I'm Surge. Nice moves out there. You seem like the kind of guy who can appreciate a good thrashing. And she electrifies her hand, ready to strike. Kit yelling out, wait! But as Surge nails the Phantom Rider in the face with an electric knuckle, his mask begins to glitch, slightly revealing Sonic's face. The Phantom Rider kicks off the, Surge, the front of Surge's bike, saying, sorry, but I gotta take a rain check on that beatdown. Later, as he plummets, the Phantom Rider tries to summon his board, thinking, come on, come on. His board comes in and manages to catch him just in the nick of time. Surge is undeterred, saying, we're done when I say we're done, you. A kid yells, stop. Surge hangs back, saying, what? I was just starting to, it was just starting to get good. It tells her, if we leave now, we won't be able to finish the race. And Mr. Clutch hired us to stay in the sweepstakes, so... Surge says, Oh, fine, you're right, but next time I'm not letting him go. And we see that later that the Babylon rogues and it managed to get into first, second, and third place. As they wave to the crowd, Wave says, Hey, you still managed to finish first. That's pretty good, right? And Storm saying, We got a whole lot... It got a whole lot easier once that spooky guy left. Jet smiles saying, I guess it's not so bad. The mobs of adoring fans are always a nice bonus. Wave then points with a serious look saying, I don't think they're cheering for us, Jet. A Surge and Kid arrive with the crowd cheering for them, more than likely because they took on the menace of the Phantom Racer. As they lift their goggles, Kit questions, who are they clapping for? Surge saying, I don't know. With Knight announcing, there they are, folks. The heroes who finally scared off the Phantom Rider. The irony of this. And they show footage of Surge slamming into the Phantom Rider. Knight saying, the speed, the guts, truly a decisive takedown. Looks like the Phantom has given up the ghost. Kit questions, it's for us? The Surge saying, yeah, we're heroes. He perks up. Oh, and as they wave to the crowd, the Babylon rogues are none too pleased. Ooh, and that intense look from Jet. Ooh, he does not like being upstaged. You could say he's green with envy. <laughs> Later, we have Duo reporting in to Jewel, with Duo saying, I asked around and nobody has seen them. Then I tried Miss Rose's number, but it just went to voicemail. I suppose they've already moved on to something else. I'm sorry, Miss Jewel. I really did try. Jewel says, it's all right, Duo. I know how Sonic and his friends are. They're probably off saving the world somewhere. And Duo says, <laughs> yeah. He goes to leave, saying, I'd better get back to the rest of the team. Thanks for the tea and for understanding. Jewel smiles, saying, of course. Good night, Duo. But as he leaves, she 
sits back in her chair with a very serious look on her face. Mmm, he knows something's up. We then have Duo meeting with Clutch, saying she bought it, no problem. Clutch, who's enjoying a nice plate of spaghetti and meatballs, says good. And just in case her mind waters, let's have the next supply drop go missing. That should keep the little lady busy. As Clutch observes footage of the Phantom Rider, he says, Funny guy, this Phantom. Duo leans in saying, You don't think he's a liability? Clutch says, Not yet. Besides, he's doing wonders for our viewership. I wish I'd thought of this bit myself. Usually, I wouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. But this isn't the time to get sloppy. In the next event, unmask our new friend. But, keep it quiet. I want to know what we're dealing with. Do a salute saying, yes, sir. Hmm, you know, the event's, event's already over. Where's, uh, oh, speak of the devil. Amy and Tails in the machine shop as they enter. Tails points to Amy saying, you keep... Watch while I look around for anything suspicious. Amy nods, saying, okay. Tails rubs his hand, nearing a large den with a smile, saying, ah, perfect. Amy looks worried, saying, Tails, that's a dumpster. Tails says, exactly. He literally goes dumpster diving, saying, I've learned from experience that if you're looking for something someone's hidden, always check the trash. This is true. Might have gotten that from uh, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Amy is squicked out saying, don't come crying to me if you get some gum stuck in your hair or whatever. Yeah, that's a good point, considering they're mostly all hair. Ooh, suddenly, Amy hears a noise and turns, going, huh? Some extreme gear clashes to the ground. Amy brings out her hammer at the ready, but something shuffles off to the side. He creeps in, saying, I could have sworn I saw something. Oh, a very familiar-looking hand skitters out, freaking out Amy, who <laughs> tries to smash it with her hammer but it manages to leap over, and she shrieks. Tails pulls his head out of the dumpster, with gum in his hair, calling out for Amy. And as Tails sees the sight of Amy fighting with the mechanical hand, he says, whoa, what's, whoa? Amy fights with, to get the hand off her face, saying, get it off me. She swings her hammer around frantically, saying, you grab it and I'll smash it. But Tails goes racing in, saying, wait. He pulls the hand off her face, saying, doesn't this look familiar to you? Amy freaks out, saying, I don't care, what? But then she realizes, hey, yeah, that's Belle's hand. So why did it jump on my friggin' face, huh? She yells. <laughs> but then Belle's severed hand points them in a specific direction. And Tails says, I think we're gonna find out. As the hand continues to point them in a specific direction, they follow. Hearing a b banging from a locker, Tails brings out a screwdriver saying, I got it. Also, he got the gum out of his hair. Wish it was that simple. Amy says, hurry up, she could be suffocating in there. Tails says, this takes precision. Also, robots don't need to, hey! Amy uses her hammer to bust it open, and they both react in shock as they see Bell tied up. Next time, what Bell knows. A very interesting issue. Just, I love the sense of intrigue and uh, how a lot of things went down. I wasn't sure how interesting Amy and Tails investigating would be. I'm interested to see what Bell has to say and what she thought. Mighty sloppy to have just simply tied her up, you know? Surge got to have her own big hero moment, and the appraise of the crowd. I wonder, are we leaning into the potential redemption, or will it be much like what Starline actually was after all along, convincing the populace that she's a hero while she does dirty deeds in the background? I mean, that's essentially what's happening. Even though they didn't stick with Starline's programming, the people see her as the hero of this event. Even though the Diamond Cutters actually were able to come in and save multiple people. Although, Lana Lynn did make a pretty big mistake by destroying the integrity of that tube. I wonder if that'll come up. Lana Lynn's been so crucially critical about other mistakes. How will she judge her own? And Sonic, he had to hold back from saving people during all of this. And at first I had thought maybe Surge had saw Sonic's fate, but she didn't. The question is now, will Sonic make a return appearance, or will he retire the Phantom Racer? And what does Jewel know? It's obvious that she's on to something, but what? But that Phantom Rider outfit was actually really cool, and I'm really looking forward to more of this. And potential rivalry between Jet and Surge? Maybe. I'm really intrigued by where this is going, and I can't wait for the next issue. 
But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the ride. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I've been Deez Diz Din, and I hope to see you later. Take care. Bye bye.